Hello, how's everybody doing? I hope you had a great and amazing uh, trading day. Um, let's see, is everything all right? <clears throat> let's go ahead and look at the SPY. Give a minute here for someone to connect. I hope you did great today. So we had a kind of crazy up and down market again today. We're going to go over all of that. We're going to go over what am I expecting uh, for tomorrow. Um, and so let's go ahead and start with the SPY. Give me one second. Let me share the video really quick. As um, people are logging in. I'm going to share this. <clears throat> All right. If you're connected, go ahead and put something on the chat so I know that you're here. <clears throat> go ahead and uh, post a comment so I know that you're listening. All right, so spy. Let's go ahead and start with that. I know uh, I came in kind of late today, but uh, if you don't watch it now, you you can watch it uh, when you have time here before tomorrow, uh, before market opens, so you can know uh, what the plan is for tomorrow. <clears throat> so spy. Again, we had another flat top uh, type of day. You know, with momentum down, we did get uh, you know close with some green volume, which is good. Um, so again, for spy, in order for me to be bullish. All right, we have to create some sort of reversal pattern. Um, so I'm looking for this kind of a doji that, and then for a candle to close or to break above that doji, so we can be on a uh, confirmed reversal here on the spy. For the moment, <coughs> we're still we're still on a downtrend, and I'll go show you on the one on the weekly here really quick. You'll see. Um, that we have a flat top ever since we got this doji reversal here we are in a downtrend i said possibly we can come to 339 if the market continues to go down you can see this big uh candle here on the weekly it hasn't been pretty uh but we've been getting through it so here is the day uh the one hour guys and what i'm looking for the one hour is this downtrend break uh downtrend to break uh, if we can break uh, this downtrend <clears throat> that we have here okay uh, we can break this pivot at 440.17 you know our target would be around this area and then potentially that area if we can get above that then uh, possibly we're gonna be in a reversal if we can get above this 480 area then we'll be in a potential uh, reversal um, but until then until we get through all this resistance that we have here uh, we're just going to continue going to downtrend so tomorrow is the feds meeting and uh, tomorrow it's going to be kind of tricky a lot of people are going to be sitting on the sidelines waiting for power to speak uh, everybody's going to kind of be just uh, watching uh, i don't expect a lot of volume i expect a lot of sideways movement um, throughout the day until uh how speaks and then uh, according to what he says you know we, we can expect the market to rally into a, po a possible recovery or to just uh, sell off even more okay so <clears throat> be ready for for anything tomorrow uh, play it safe um, be careful if don't be in a position while he's speaking because he can go against you so again we're still in a uh, bearish momentum and I know um, 
a lot of people don't like to hear that, but ju that's just the truth. Look at the charts. We were talking about it since we had flat tops here, flat tops, flat tops. And I know we want a reversal, but until the chart uh, shows us a reversal, then uh, reversal uh, is going to happen. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves and let's wait for a reversal to be confirmed so we can be uh, come up to uh, some sort of recovery. So that is the SPY, guys. Uh, we did have, if we go to uh, the 10 minute, we did rally up. Um, we did rally up. Uh, uh, hit, uh, we did rally up around what time is it? 12, 12, 10. Okay. And we hit this resistance right here, previous resistance. We got there to 440. Uh, and then we kind of gave everything back. And. Um, Towards the end of the close there, we're just kind of sideways traded. So we need to get above that pivot point so we can get you uh, that 448 area. <coughs> so we'll see what happens tomorrow. All right, let's go to the queues real quick. So on the queues, again, we're still in a, a bearish uh, momentum. Look at this targets that I have. Um, we passed them and we're going towards the, you know, the next one. Again, I'm not... A bear guys I'm a bull uh, I want the market to reverse but until them until uh, the charts tells us otherwise uh, the momentum to the downside continues um, we did uh, have an inside bar today which is good uh, I think on the spy we did as well uh, what is an inside bar a bar that closes inside the previous candles <coughs> so that is one good sign but again if Powell says um, the wrong things tomorrow this thing could just break to the bottom so let's watch um, to see what he says uh, and let's watch the market carefully uh, in the meanwhile we're still in a bearish uh, momentum let me get this uh, chart bigger real quick I forgot to... oh. <coughs> what is going on um, how do we make Detach. Let me make it big. There you go. Is that better? That's better. All right. So those are the cues. Uh, let's go to the weekly again. Look at that momentum to the downside. You can see the momentum shifting after that Doji candle. We always talk about using the Heiken Ashi candles. We got flat top, flat top, and the flat top continues this week. So we'll see how it goes. Now ultimate. Um, support if we keep falling down guys would be around this area right here 303 i'm not saying we're gonna get there let's take it a week at a time here on the candles but that would be an ultimate support uh where we can bounce because you could see here back in september of uh 20 i believe we broke uh we broke above uh it was resistance here resistance resistance and then it became support once we found support we rallied up and now uh, if we come back to that area, I believe that's it. That's a real, real strong and good support where the markets can bounce. So those are the cues. Um, let's take it a, a day and week at a time until we get a sign of reversal here in the charts. And then we can and then that confirms and then we can move on. As for now, we're still bearish. We're still going down. Uh, let's take it a, a day at a time. I told you uh, yesterday after we rallied that those rallies have been happening and been going for weeks on uh, uh, i know they look huge if you're looking at the five minute and ten minute they, it looks like a huge rally and you might think oh this is it this is a recovery this is when we reverse no you need to look at the big picture you need to look at the weekly and the and, and the daily that's where um your mind plays tricks on you and you go all in because you saw the big move but you're looking at it in the five minute go and look at the weekly and the daily and see that we're still in the downtrend okay don't be fooled by those little moves that we get intraday okay i know they look big if you're looking at, at, at a one minute or five minute chart but they're not big at all and you can see here let's go to the queues look at this one hour you can see how many days we've had rallies you know look at this uh this little rally then we had this one then we had this one now we zoom in to the five minute and this this little rallies here they look big they look huge and that's where you know the the typical um you know trader that doesn't know any better uh 
uh, thinks that this is the reversal and they go in and just to come find out the next day, it gives everything back and, you know, you lose on your uh, position. So <clears throat> don't get fooled by these little moves. They're good to be traded intraday. Don't get me wrong. I trade them up and down, you know, whatever the direction is giving us. But as far as going in for long term, uh, going in for a swing position, um, we're not there yet. Unless you're playing puts, then that's another story. Unless you're shorting. But anyways, so those are the cues. Um, let's go ahead and um, go to the VIX really quick. And um, today, um, we were again trading according, according to the VIX where it was hitting resistance. Uh, where it was hitting support and um, you know we were trading the markets accordingly to uh, looking at the VIX and SPY and it's it, when you learn to uh, you know base your position looking at that it's just you know you you have an edge in the game because you know um, that when you want to get an entry it coincides whether VIX is on support or VIX is on resistance so if you just go in blindly don't know where VIX or SPY is you know it, you you don't have an edge, so the people that have an edge uh, at looking at that, you know, they're gonna outperform you all the time. So, uh, look at VIX, guys. This is D. This is uh, on the daily. Uh, you know, look at the, the the momentum up. We have the Doji. We always talk about right. So Doji, all right. Then we broke above that Doji and look at flat bottom, flat bottoms all the way to the top, and the momentum continues to the upside. Look. And the TTM squeeze also fired to the upside. And um, it's just, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. The, the charts tell you the story. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so let's move on quickly here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, go through some inside bar plays that uh, I'm looking at, at for tomorrow. We have BIDU. Okay. Um, this is... BIDU, I had mentioned in the previous video, if BIDU comes to some the, the support here, it would be uh, good to get in uh, for a bounce, okay? Because look at how many times we've hit this trend, okay? And I say we come back again, this will be a nice for a bounce. Um, it did bounce, and if you go to a smaller time frame, like, um, like a one hour, you'll see that we bounced off this uh, support that we're looking at in the daily. You can see here 143 we went all the way to uh 153 so you know you have 10 points there uh, so that is uh that on <coughs> bidu keeping on watch for uh some more momentum um you know for possible reversal we did we did close on a flat top um which is not good and we did um end up with low green volume uh so in order to play this, we would have to break above above this candle here for momentum uh, to the upside tomorrow. So uh, why? Because we're coming off support. So that's the only reason why you will play this and not wait for a doji. Even though tomorrow we can form a doji and then play the break of it. But if it breaks too much to the top, you can play that to the upside. And that would be a good play on BIDU because we, we are still above uh, holding above the EMAs. How do I know that? Because my candles are green. Okay, so uh, keep that on watch. <coughs> this is uh, Goldman Sachs. Um, not really interested on that. That's an inside bar. Um, Dollar Tree. If you like something like that, inside bar. Look at Doji Candle. Okay, and now we, we formed a, a flat bottom which is a good sign for a potential reversal. We do have to break above this area, 133. If we could break, then we have room, okay, to this area right here, our resistance, all right? So this would be a target if we break above this area of resistance. Let's remove that and let's put this area right here. Okay, so we break above that, that would be first target. Um, Okay, so SPY, oh, we already went over it. Also had an inside bar, okay. Home Depot, okay, Home Depot. 
Okay, this is what we're looking for, guys, right here. Home Depot. You see that doji? Okay, we played yesterday. Now we have an inside bar inside the doji. Okay, so this is how we uh, play this. Tomorrow, watch this. Break to the upside, break to the bond. To the bond. You want to play something at, at the open before Powell speaks, okay? Watch for a move here. We did end up with, uh, this is a nice green volume, a lot higher than the previous uh, selling volume, okay? And then today we did end up with uh, green volume bar as well. So watch the break of this one, okay? So let's go ahead and put HD here in the watch list. And then we're watching this one for momentum. The hour, let's go to the hour so we can get uh, some um, some targets. Okay, you can see we're holding up this trend line here. And we have this huge trend line coming down uh, from uh, two weeks ago. So um, this is going to have a lot of resistance right here, this area. But if we break above that, guys, if we break above this, we can hit 380. We can hit 380. All right. So those are targets. First target would be here. And the next target, if we break above that. This this would have a squeeze here. Break above this uh, above this trend will squeeze. So keep that on, on watch. Home Depot. Um, uh as a matter of fact they upgraded the buy uh price to target 420. <clears throat> okay so that on watch uh gm gm also has this big down uh trend line you can see here so keeping all these on watch for tomorrow this is the daily again flat uh flat tops going towards the bottom uh this is area of support there's some good areas to if you like dip buying or if you're con more conservative wait for a doji uh like this okay to uh get in for a reversal but right now it is an inside bar so um watch the break to the upside or to the downside and you can play that accordingly on gm gm doesn't move that much so you know you don't have to worry about being very volatile. This is um, Ford Motors. You can see we hit uh, the target that we had there. And um, yeah, and we bounced off of it. So um, great if you're watching the videos. Again, inside bar, we're watching the move uh, to the top and to the break to the bottom. So put F if you like mo Ford Motors for uh, a play. Put it on your watch list for tomorrow. Um, then we have Airbnb, Airbnb, Airbnb as well inside bar. Uh, Airbnb. I was looking for uh, this target right here, right here. To um, let me make this smaller because then on my smaller time frame, I see a big circle. But yeah, so I was looking to a uh, dip buy in this area at one twenty nine for uh, Airbnb. This would be a great area, uh, I think. And if it doesn't, if it breaks through, if we close a candle underneath in the days to come, well, then I'll just close my position for a small loss. Again, if you want to play conservative, wait for a doji candle um, to form or play the upside of a candle that um, falls here. For example, like this one, right? We hit support and then we break above that previous candle. Because um, not all time you're going to get this doji, okay? Not all time. But when it happens, it's a very good sign of reversal. Uh, so, you know, play, play accordingly. Um, we have a lot of plays, guys, uh, that um, are inside bars. Uh, this one, too, cost. Um, we broke this trend. I believe cost is going to continue. Probably should come down to about this area. But we'll see what the market does and if it doesn't rebound. But the way it's looking, every time we break a trend, what happens is we, we come and test the trend and then we um, come down. That's how the psychology behind breaking trends. Um, PayPal. Uh, PayPal, again, right here. 
we're looking for this well, f- bear flag that we had here, or wedge pattern, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we were looking for a break to the up or to the bottom, and you could see we uh, we came uh, to the bottom, and it's been trending down ever since. So that's an inside bar. So watch tomorrow for continuation if it breaks below. <clears throat> we have a lot of bars, a lot of inside bars. We have lift as well. eBay, eBay coming off support here, this trend line. So eBay potentially bounce um, if right <coughs> tomorrow up to this trend right here. So keep that on watch. Twitter. Oh, Microsoft is um, on watch big time. This one had um, good earnings. And even though it had good earnings, uh, this thing sold off um, big uh, after hours. If you could see, we can go to the like the 15 minute. You could see this uh, real long um, candle wick that came down all the way to 269. Then we held support here at this area, superior support, and then we came back to our resistance. So keep Microsoft on watch. It had no reason to come down like that. But again, that's just um, the market, you know, how crazy it is right now, how wild out. So be um, watching Microsoft for tomorrow for a potential move up. They have good earnings. Um, so keep that on watch. And then we have. Um, let's skip some of these. Let's uh, take a look at. Facebook, Facebook wants you know, support again. Everything has to break. If you, if you look at everything in the in the one hour, it all these stocks have a downtrend on the one hour. When it breaks, um, you can day trade it to the upside. This is um, AOB again. Just uh, continue to fall down uh, inside bar, but um, we'll see if. If it continues to the downside or the upside, you play the break of top and bottom. If you like this play, I don't know what I did. Okay, Lucid, um, same thing. Now, Lucid, guys, if we break um, below this trend here, we've seen these trends not hold on any of the stocks. Um, so, Lucid could come down back to 29 and potentially 22 especially if the market goes red tomorrow so watch continuation for losing now if we do break above because this is an inside bar if we do break above we do have some room to run all right and then lucy can continue doing this and then finally squeeze to the bottom or top and that would be a great play either to the upside or the downside you have to learn to play both ways this is a firm um this is a firm again a firm i was trying to get in this real nice upper trend uh i got in around here i was up on a firm again it failed i ended up getting out once we uh crossed that below so small loss but again when i'm right i get to ride this wave see what i'm saying so uh i i like to buy the dips a lot of times and then buy more confirmation uh, when I'm wrong, or when it does, it's not that I'm wrong, but when it fails the support, the uptrend, I get out for, you know, um, I get out for a small loss because right here, I realize, right here, I realize that we're breaking below, you know, below this candle. And I realize, hey, this is not going to work. But, right, but when I'm right, right, and I buy right a trend, look, I, I write. I write all this momentum, right? So look at the loss compared to when you're right. So you just have to be um, disciplined, and that comes with time. That comes with time, you know, to get out if it goes against you, to get out and take that small loss. You're, you, because if you keep averaging down, look at this. You're just going to continue going down, 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 and averaging down. Don't do that. At this point, I'm waiting for a reversal now. I'm waiting for a confirmation on the weekly you know to give me uh, a reversal around this area and if it breaks and then you're going down i'll just wait for some sort of confirmation 
on the daily and weekly for a reversal and then i'll write it up again <clears throat> so mm, rivian um how long have i been on 25 minutes all right i'm gonna make it long because my videos are i mean i'm gonna make it short because my videos are kind of long uh rivian again just down trending down uh momentum down inside bar so if anything it could have a little pop tomorrow uh to the upside or play puts if it breaks to the downside that's what the inside bars are for um pretty simple um uh, this one roblox hidden support here on daily look at this trend it held didn't close below so watch that for tomorrow for potential bounce on roblox <coughs> Uh, then we have the dog um, this one's a doji so indecision candle um, they close on red volume so watch tomorrow this thing breaks down that's confirmation and play some puts or if it breaks above with volume you know you can play to the upside so that's the dog and then um, peloton again second doji in a row uh, peloton not really doing much uh, i think on the hourly we did have that move um well that was yesterday we moved with the market we hit resistance and we just trended down today all day here <coughs> that's why it's so important to have your resistance on the one hour guys that's usually where you're going to add your your main support and resistance um for day trades <clears throat> so that is it guys um i hope you are enjoying um what i'm teaching you guys i hope you like the content and it would really help me if you like and subscribe to the channel and share it with your family and friends that learn how to want to learn more about the stock market i make it easy i make it simple uh i don't complicate things you know i so if you like the style uh i would appreciate your your support by liking it and subscribing and sharing it with your friends and family other than that guys i'll see you guys mañana uh have a blessed night um and uh let go and uh kill it tomorrow plan your trade and trade your plan and um i'll be back with you guys tomorrow um after the market and uh go over uh out go over the the trades and how things went so i'll see you guys stay blessed i'll see you guys mañana adios